Now, uh, thankfully, not for the fact, I don't mean this thankfully in the sense that I was sick of it, but uh, it seems over the last week or so, the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge has petered out, as it was always going to, you know, and um, I made a video on my channel last week, you know, just really just inventing spleen on the incessant whiners who just went on like it was like, oh God, I wish I could, do, what, why is all these videos, it's so, oh God, how do you get through the day? You must be so tired from doing all that extra scrolling down. You know? Imagine if you had ALS and you had to watch all those videos, but your arms had atrophied, you fucking whiny prick. I don't like the term first world problems because it's too easy to throw back at someone, but that almost applies. But anyway, uh, but my favourite story, and have you noticed that since the ALS, found, ALS Ice Bucket Challenge has, dissipi has dissipated, have you noticed that all of those people who spent all those weeks going, well, what about people who haven't got any water? What about the people who've been... Have you noticed they shut up? Have you noticed they haven't said anything? I don't like to sit here and say I told you so. That's bollocks. I love saying I told you so. Everyone loves saying I told you so. It doesn't even matter what it is, right? Have you noticed all those people who suddenly became, like, hardcore, dedicated fucking... People who, were, people who were willing to die for so that someone can have a drop of clean water. They've suddenly stopped going on about it. And they've done nothing. Like I said they would. Right, so there you go. So if you're one of those people, <laughs> fuck you. You know, you know, you might be someone I know. Right, and I might like you. But you're, I, think you, I think you have to concede I was right. Um, which is what I'm having. I'm going to call that my autobiography. You have to concede I was right. By Dick Coughlin. And uh, it's very Alan Partridge, that, anyway. But the best article I saw on the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge comes from, as always, the Daily Mail, where, who, are, who, who have this really great system where they, they start... When you work from the headline down the article, right, because nobody reads all the articles in a fucking newspaper, particularly in the Daily Mail, because if you're reading the Daily Mail, you're already a cunt. And if you're, if you're reading the Daily Mail because you need to find something out, it's difficult to get to the bottom without wanting to kill everyone. You're so fueled with rage, like one of those cuts in 28 days later. But this is the headline. Scottish Island left without water after residents did the ice bucket challenge. Yes, that well-known, you know, that well-known spot for constant droughts and, you know, people dying of dehydration. The <laughs> Scotland, where it's, you know, where for 10 months of the year it's 120 degrees, it's mostly barren desert. Nothing grows there. It's the, it's drier than the at a you know what's that place called the Akavango Delta? Or the, I don't know what it's called. It's that's in Africa. What the fuck am I talking about? I'm getting my top gears confused. Anyway, this is the article. I'll read, and this is what they do. They start hysterical with the headline. They also claim that apparently the local the local shops ran out of ice. Ran out of ice. Yes, you know. So for those of you who were invested in ice in the stock market, prices apparently went up. Right, this is what you Scottish Scottish Islands water, a Scottish Islands water system shut down because too many people are doing the ice bucket challenge, right? And supermarkets are running out of ice. This was apparently worthy of being printed. This, 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 this was all they could do. Demand for water escalated in Colonse, which is Jay Z's nickname for Beyonce's bottom, when the charity craze took off on the inner Hibern inner head Hebridean oh, fucking. Sort your life. If you get independent, can you at least sort your names? If Scotland doesn't get independence, you're changing all your friggin' names to things we can pronounce. Which, you know, this, this listen to this. The Scottish inner, inner Hebridean island, which has a population of 135 people. I've done comedy shows with twice as many people as that in. 135 people in a Scottish island. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, has a higher population density. Meanwhile, a... This is the... Remember they said supermarkets have run out of ice? Meanwhile, a branch of Tesco's admitted running out of ice with fundraisers rushing to buy bags of it to take part in the challenge. God, if only we lived in a world where ice was something we didn't have to go out and, like, forage. And we, had, we didn't have to have special miners who go out and get it. We, we could have just... If only we had some sort of thing that could freeze water that we could have... You know, in our home, you know, we could call it a freezer. What the fuck do these people think that... Right. 
Like, you know, Bob Gil... These, they're making it like, seem like Bob Geldof and Midjur are on their way to do a fucking benefit these people. In Colonse, Colonse, the water system stops automatically as part, uh, as part of moves to cut wastage on the eight-mile-long mi- eight island. It's the same size as the fucking town M&M lived in. Right, and needs to be turned back on afterwards. So basically, it was just a bit of a rush. They turned it off. There's a surge. There's a power surge. It's like every time there's a commercial in a fucking... Uh, in, 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 yeah, on a soap opera or a primetime show. There's a power surge. Because everyone goes to have a shit and turns a kettle on. Plugs in the generator, you know. Turns the dildos up. It doesn't matter. Right. David Johnstone from the Colonse Brewery told The Sun... This is the Daily Mail reporting what somebody told The Sun. Jesus Christ. The water engineers had to come out five times over the weekend. Oh, my God. How did they cope? Those poor, overworked little bunnies. And people think nurses have it tough. These guys had to do five separate shifts. Can we get these guys an OBE? A spokesman for Scottish Water said water had been shut off during the weekend, but but added, and this is the bit, added that residents were still able to use stored supplies of island still supplies of water on the island. He said, It seems like everyone is taking part in the challenge and getting behind the charity to raise money, and quite a few of our staff have taken part too. The frigging staff at the Tesco's did it too! So clearly they weren't too sodding worried about it. It's great to see so many people taking part, but before the next big craze, we'd love a bit of warning so we can stock up on whatever it is people need. So, basically, this this story goes from Island runs out of water, you know, Famine imminent. Ice no longer possible. All of ice has vanished. Ice plummets. In fa- it goes from being basically there's a, there was a, you know there was a little bit of a rush on the ice at one Tesco's, and the engineers came out fixed the water supply, but it didn't matter because there was already supplies already on the island. So in short, fuck all happened. That is this story in a nutshell. It goes from imminent fucking you know from everyone in Scotland being wiped out. To fuck all happen. That, my friends, is the friggin' Jesus Christ.